the fourth episode of Dicey Digest. I'm here today with Kevin. Kevin, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Kevin. (laughs) (laughs) Kevin, (laughs) tell me a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Like, what do you do? Like, how are, why are you here today? So, I am um, your store employee. The one and only. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. We've so, had a couple people that have like been part-time. Yeah, we do have them. Um, well, no, not anymore. Not you, you, it's you and Cody and me now. It, yeah, us three, that's it. We're just, yeah, we're the only ones that are there now. But we have had a couple come in here and there. Yeah, it was... <laughs> that just didn't work out. No. <laughs> <laughs> the schedules couldn't align right. <laughs> no, okay, so tell me a little bit more about yourself. <laughs> so I like at first I just started coming in sore as a fan, like how we met. Mm-hmm. You want to go into that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So like when we first met, I was like a big fan at first. Like I just kept watching your videos. Me and my cousin would sit there and I would like send back and forth your videos, laughing at them. And then when you opened the store, it was like the day after you opened it, I came in and we sat there and talked for a while. And I was like, oh, like she's actually really cool even in person. So then I just kept coming back to the store and it just happened like usually you would be there, but sometimes it was just Cody and me and Cody ended up talking a lot. And then I was joking with Cody one day when I came in and I was like, hey, what about a job? (laughs) And he was like, what about a job? Yeah, because we were actually looking to hire somebody. Yeah. And then I, um, it took a few months actually DMing with you. I'd like, we DM once and then it'd be like a month later when you'd see it again and respond. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, literally though, whenever um that was going on, I was going through a lot, you know. Oh, I know. And then <laughs> a lot. And Girl, I was that in, was only the craziest month of your life, I think. Yeah, I was in like a heavy. I was in a dark place, okay? <laughs> and then um we were wanting to hire somebody and then you kept coming in and Cody really liked you and he really vibed with you and he was like, "Yeah, this he could be a good fit." And he got your number, right? No, or no. no. Did you DM me and then I DM'd you back and then I started following you? Or what happened? No, you had followed me the first time I came in. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I had, like, DM'd you. And then you came in on your birthday. Yeah, and you gave me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And then, and then uh, I was like, okay, but for real, though, like, you know, I want to do it. And then it did take a little bit after that. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, yeah. Then you But were... honestly, like, it lined up perfectly. But we clicked right away, though. Yeah, we did. Yeah, like, as soon as we started talking, I was like, okay, we actually vibe. Like, we could get, we could, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then it, I think... It was like in June you started working, right? Yeah. So because it's been I like, went, it's been six months though. Or has it been seven now? How many months has it been? It's been like six and a half. So almost seven. Almost seven. Okay. So like seven months, which is crazy. Literally. It feels like it has been, but it hasn't been. I know. It's hard to describe. It almost feels like it's been longer, but shorter Not, yeah. as well. It's been, a, it's been. A ride. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so where where do you want to start? Up to you, bro. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just thinking about recently. Okay. What have you been up to recently? Um I've been like hanging out with the Kalos. Yeah. Just like hanging out with them. Which that's a whole thing. So Let's go into that. Like, let's go into, like, okay, after you started working at Dicey Dyes, you started getting involved in the community, like, tremendously. Yeah. Like, Like with everybody. Yeah. Like, you know everybody. You know the whole block. Yeah, I know the block. The (laughs) the block's pretty cool. Like, honestly, there's some pretty cool people that, like, you've introduced me to. And, like, ever since I started working there, you've made a lot of friends for me. Like, Kali, I couldn't ask for, I couldn't have believed, like, that a year ago. Like, no one Mm -hmm. like her has ever been there for me. Yeah, and then she she was really there for me in the beginning, too, because whenever I opened up Dicey Dice, she was one of the first people in the community to, like, really, like, welcome me and be like, hey, like, I'm here for you and stuff. Showed up to the grand opening, was, like, helping with everything. I was a freaking mess that day. And she, <laughs> we didn't even know each other, and she was just, like, really cool and, like, somebody in the community that was, like, I could, like, rely on, you know? Literally. And so, yeah, that whole family is really cool. They own Kayla was Kitchen, which you've probably... If you watch my TikToks, you would have seen me eating their Hawaiian food a lot in the beginning of 2023, like a lot. Like it was like 75% of my diet. And they own a really cool Hawaiian spot in uh, Main Strauss in Covington. 
and it's really good their food's really good it's amazing yeah Mm -hmm. and their whole family's just cool though yeah and so you've made a lot of friends around and yeah like (laughs) honestly i've literally moved to the area and all like i love Mm -hmm. the area It's, it's cool let's talk about that so whenever i first hired kevin he told me <laughs> <laughs> Kevin told me that he only lived like 20 minutes into Cincinnati and which was not the truth, okay? Like <laughs> Explain. I may have under under said it a little bit, but it's just like a 30 minute drive, maybe 35 minute drive with traffic. Oh, with traffic, it's definitely like a 45-minute drive. <laughs> but like, literally, Kevin told me <laughs> that he lived like, oh, just a skip and a hop. Like, it's just like... It's, <laughs> just a skip and a hop away. It's just like a skip and a pop. Like, we're just like, you know, girly popping it around. And so then me and Kevin became, like, friends, you know? And then he's, like, moving to the area. And he's, you know, moving close by. And I was like, I'll help you move, like, whenever you move, you know? And he was like, oh, for real? Like, let's do this then. So, like, he gets the apartment. He signs the motherfucking lease. I didn't sign a lease. (laughs) What do you mean you didn't sign a lease? There ain't no lease. There ain't no lease. You get a lease? Yeah, I got a lease. Oh, I didn't get no lease. (laughs) 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 What do you mean you didn't get a lease? Yeah, like, I genuinely don't have a lease. Like, a lease? I didn't sign a paper. So when you moved in, like, how did you move in? Like, how did you get the keys? I got text. Oh, I don't have keys. I have codes. (laughs) 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 What? I don't have keys. I literally just pin in. I got. Oh, like, you're going to work? Yeah, like, I basically have the same door handle. There's no key, though. Uh, there's, like, a... There was a key up there, but it's for, like, the main door if it ever breaks. <laughs> but she did not... No, I'm just confused because it's, like... So could you ever, like, deadbolt your door, dude? What do you mean? Like, is there a deadbolt? Or is it just, like, a code? Just a code. <laughs> okay. But it locks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was gonna stuck on that. <laughs> I think that you should have a lease, though. I don't. Okay. I, I wish I did. Actually, no. It's fine. I trust her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you want to talk about next? Do, so, let's talk about the guy that came in the store. Okay start okay so we're just chilling in the store one day right it's me and gabby working and this guy comes in and he goes um he walks up to us like he walks in at first and he comes up and he's like just chilling at the counter and she's like oh there's like some chairs if you want to like chill back there and he like he goes he chills and then me and gabby are just sitting there talking laughing like talking about i don't even remember what we were telling a story or something and he walks up and he goes hey I don't mean the cock block. Oh, my God. Dude, yeah, that guy literally it got me out of nowhere, though. He was really cool, though. Like, he came in the store, and he was, like, chilling. He wanted a custom screen. So we were talking about that. And then he goes over, and uh, I thought he was just going to sit down and chill, right? So me and Kevin started kiki kaka you know, because <laughs> whenever me and Kevin are uh, working together, we cannot handle, like, we're we're always laughing and, like, there's always something going on. But anyways, <laughs> so he just comes up and he's like, hey, like, not trying to cock block you. Uh, like, <laughs> dude, and what? And clearly. <laughs> and clearly, yeah, no. Like, it's just. <laughs> dude. But no, that's that like, goes into another thing. Like, you, even though you are, you're gay. You know, yeah. even though you're gay, you, but you, you're very straight presenting, like just going through life. You're the most, you're the straightest gay person that I know. Yeah. I'm just not like, I try not to be that flamboyant. Yeah. No, you're like pretty like you blend in, you know? Yeah. And you go with the crowd. I try. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so 
What are your goals for 2023? So I definitely want to get a new car. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely that thing. What thing? I want to get my license for something. Oh, yeah. Me and Kevin want to go to real estate school. We're going to real estate we school. We are going to real estate school. This month, we're going to start. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, within we're the next few days, we're trying to be enrolled. No, like we actually are. Like this is something that we are manifesting for ourselves for 2020. Yes. For. Like, We've been manifesting this. Yeah. We've honestly been manifesting a lot of things together, though. We have. And I think that we can actually accomplish like literally. Oh, let's talk wait. about that. Like our manifesting together. Dude. Is crazy. Like. Oh, bitch. It's crazy. We literally manifested a whole <laughs> G-Wagon for you. No, but that's seriously, though. We really did. Like, it was, that was crazy how that happened. You, you were, like, really into it. You, like, really manifested it, too. Like, you were like, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. I was like, okay, this is going to happen. But, you know, we need to keep doing that because mm-hmm. we could really, like, manifest. We're still going to the Yak Ranch. Oh, my Jeffrey gosh. Jeffree Star. Me and Kevin. We have been <laughs> manifesting this for months. <laughs> we have. Like, it's coming. Yeah. We, one day, when did that even start? When did that Jeffree start? Like, me and Kevin fell down a Jeffree Star, like, rabbit hole, and we wanted nothing to talk about other than Jeffree Star. Like, like, we literally went months of just talking about Jeffree Star every day. Like, we'd watch his lives. And Trisha Paytas. Oh, my God, love her. We were talking about Trisha Paytas, Jeffree Star, every day. Like, that's all of our... We were like, you remember? We just got to be like, you know, yeah. Trisha Paytas. Like, it was yeah, everything was, was a reference like, to them. Literally. Everything was. But what what were we, like, what put us down that? I don't even remember. I feel like there was, like, a certain event, wasn't there? We were talking. I feel like it did kind of start. We, were, we kept talking about the meat and makeup store. Oh, my God. That's, and that how was, iconic it is. Okay, that was what started it. You're right. So we saw the meat and makeup store like something for it like it was like some post for it and then you put me down the rabbit hole i was like wait meat and makeup he really sells like meat and makeup there and then i went down the whole rabbit hole of like jeffree stars meat and makeup which is like such a brilliant idea though because then he has the yak does he make wait does he like kill all the yaks himself and no, then make- so he has like his own so he has some yaks that are purposely for the yak meat and then he has his pet yaks The pet yaks are the ones on his ranch, right? Yeah. Where he has the salon. Did you see the salon? I believe, yeah. It's like the pink salon with like a... His car collection. Oh, my God. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. So good. So good. I love Jeffree Star. Literally. I mean, that's going to be a little controversial, I feel like. Don't people, some people hate him? Yeah, but I mean... People t- used to hate Trisha Paytas, or they how you can't hit tra- hate Trisha Paytas. No one can hate Trisha. I mean, she's she's done a lot, dude. I literally came across this YouTube video that was talking about like all of I'm freezing. I'm putting my jacket back on. But I was talking about all of Trisha Paytas's. Um, oh my gosh, hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm literally freezing. I was hot whenever I came in here. <laughs> I was too. I was sweating. I was sweating. I don't know. I want to talk about my morning this morning. Yeah, but we, yeah. What? Yeah, we can't just hop off the topic. Yeah, we can't just hop off. Dude, we've been so chip choppy, chip choppy this episode. Oh my god. (laughs) Are you doing like an ASMR for him? (laughs) On today's ASMR. On today's ASMR episode. Okay, we need to stay on topic. We do. Okay. I think that's also how, like... I need to stop being such a medicated mama right now. We started Stay talking about, like, the G-Wagon and the um, Jeffree Manifestation, Star. Jeffree Star, how we manifested going to Jeffree Star's Yak Ranch. Like, I was like, we're going, we're going. But our schedule is so fucking busy. And then we have the store. And then it's just like... One day we're just going to go to the meeting. One day we're just going to pop out. We're just going to be like, you know what? We're going. And we're just going to pop up Take in the flight. middle of Montana. Wait. Montana? Wyoming. Wyoming. <laughs> Dude, yeah, literally Wyoming. <laughs> we're going to pop up in Wyoming, go to this meet and makeup store, and we're probably not going to meet Jeffree Star, but 
We're just going to pray that we do. <coughs> Not really. We're going to pray that Jeffrey at least feels our love. Maybe we'll get super lucky and he'll be working the cashier. Like when he does his, his um, celebrity working cash mm -hmm. register lives. Yeah, I love those. Have you popped in on those before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's your favorite person to, like, watch live on TikTok? Either Jeffree Star or, um, I forget their at, the, um, the farm. Oh, he my God. <sighs> um, my gay fabulous farm. Yes. Oh, my God. Every morning. Every such a positive morning. Dude, he's, like, out there dancing with like, his even music. Even if you get one song in a day listening it changes your life. It, it really rises my morning. Literally, though. No, but I'll see him out there. He's like, say hi to the alpacas today. Literally. Does he have alpacas? Hold on. I need to pull him up because I'm going to literally send this to Peter and Scott so he can show <laughs> Peter. I'm going to send or whoever's editing this, Peter, Michael, whoever. I'm sending a screenshot of this guy's profile because I need to figure out who what his at is exactly. At my... <laughs> I told you you could hit that. I know. Yeah, my gay fabulous farm. <gasps> he follows me on my main. And I don't oh. follow him on my main, but I follow him on my backup. Follow him now. Oh, I'm following him right now. Dude, he literally, I want to go to his farm. I What? I just moved and the chair reclined a little bit. It's okay. It's a recliner chair. They recline. You want to know? Mm. This one doesn't, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, wait. Yeah, it does. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. I literally, one episode, I could film, like, um, <laughs> we could do, oh, therapy chairs. Literally, though. Literally, therapy chairs. Okay, but anyways. Back to regular. Okay. My Gay Fabulous Farm is who I absolutely love to watch every single morning. Like, he is hilarious. Literally. He has cats. He has so many animals, I believe. Dude, he has so many animals, I don't even know how many animals. Anyways, I want to go there. That's on my bucket list. I think he's going to sell tickets to, like, is he? I don't remember. Somebody that I follow is selling tickets to their personal farm. I don't know if it's him or somebody else, but I'm going to dig down that rabbit hole later on. That would be cool. Mm-hmm. But anyways, what, what else do we want to do this year? I don't know. We want to do a lot, like... My my twenty first is this year. That's gonna be fun. We're planning on going to Cincinnati, which yeah. is where we live. <laughs> Literally. Or to Chicago to um just party for his twenty first birthday. Cause he's never gone to a bar, like drank or anything before because he's not twenty one. Yeah, never. Never in his life. Mm -mm. He's never touched alcohol. No. Not even a sip. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not once. Not once. <laughs> <laughs> um i was thinking about recently whenever we were working at the store and it was like um super late at night we were tie-dyeing that one night remember yeah and um we wanted to order doordash oh god it's yeah mm. so we get back and you're like i'm ordering the doordash i'm ordering the doordash and i had started popping the popcorn and what did what did you, what was the other option? Were you just straight to White Castles? Or what made you order from White Castles in the first place? Because White Castles is notorious for like, you know, how many times have you door dashed White Castles? Once. <laughs> and that, <laughs> that was, was the that only day. time. Yes. Well, I, there was literally like nothing else <laughs> open that was good. I think I looked at pizza and everything and they were closed. Everywhere was closed but Whitey's. Literally. Hmm. So you order the White Castles, and literally, Kevin is bugging out. Like, we're tie-dying. We're, like, you know, getting stuff done. We, and then we're, like, Kevin cannot do anything. He's debilitated over this door. <laughs> because keep in mind, it had been 30 minutes since the guy had picked the order up. And he's sitting there. I'm, like, what is going on? Like, did you get pulled over? And then I look at it, and he's, like, at the train. Yeah, so Kevin's, like. I call like... the dude, and I'm, like, hey, <laughs> you can go around it, dude. Like, let me give you the shortcut real quick. <laughs> so I give him the cut, and then he's going through, right? Oh, my God. And we're waiting, and then he stopped again. And I'm like, what's going on? 
But he stopped, like, right down the road. By this time, we're outside. Like, we are investigating this situation. Literally. Like, so we're walking, and we see this dude pulled over. <laughs> we saw the cops pulling someone over. And Kevin's like, no way. And, like, he's, like, watching the guy, and he stops, right? Like, on the map, and we're like, that's him. And, like, we run up, and, like, the guy's like, dude, he's, like, kind of, like, not yeah, having. she's like, let's go up there. I'm like, what? She just starts taking off. Yeah, because and I was she's like, she's gonna go like right in front of the guy that's <laughs> talking to the cop. I'm like, girl, I'm not trying to be this close. Well, what are they gonna do? We're just trying to get our food. And no, like, dude, that is how people get pulled over. And if like, say you're driving with someone, right? You're mm -hmm. following someone, and the person gets pulled over, and you pull over too, they'll give you a ticket too. <laughs> For pulling over? Mm -hmm. Have it you happened? done that before? No, but it happened to my neighbor. <laughs> he got a whole ticket because he pulled over too. To, like, follow somebody who he knew getting pulled over or whatever? Yeah, like, he mm. was literally following his brother. Hmm. Yeah. But what if I was just, like, to the officer, I was like, hey, but dude, like, we're just trying to get the food. I saw a video on TikTok of an officer that pulled over a door dasher that had a warrant, and he went to jail. And the officer literally took the food, and it was, like, the ring doorbell footage. The officer literally took the food to the, like, the person's house. That's so nice, dude. Yeah. And he was like, sorry, he's going to jail, but here's your food. They're cold food. <laughs> Imagine, like, that guy got, got, done, got searched and all that. Oh, my God. So they were probably waiting for a while. A while. A while, a while. That's crazy. Yeah. What else have you seen that's, like, been, like, crazy recently? Hmm. Trying to think of stuff in the store that's crazy <laughs> that can actually be talked about. <laughs> I know. We can talk about everything, but, like, we're secretive. We are. Why are we like that? I don't know. I feel like there's been a, like... There's just been a lot. We both have trust issues really bad. Yeah, we've been th <laughs> through... Yeah. We're both volts, too. Like, we, yeah. like, we both, like, obtain a lot of information, but we just, like... Even with each other, though. Like yeah. And then, like, we'll talk about something, and we'll be like, oh, I relate to that. And be like, then we'll get into something crazy. And it's mm -hmm. like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But things have been good. Things have been good everywhere. And Okay. <laughs> Is that better? Is that better? I got my mic working again. But anyways, um, I forgot what I was going to say. You were just saying how things have been good recently. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm excited for the class. I think that's going to be really good. Oh, my gosh. The class on this, uh, this Sunday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really good. Yeah. We have a few things we need to get for it, but Dude, it'll be good. We're not even prepared. No, we need to actually like go to Walmart and get a <sighs> curtain <sighs> so bad. <laughs> because we have to hide half of it oh my gosh kevin and i we are last minute about everything we really are but Dude. we get it done like, we, do. we will literally stay up till six in the morning to get it done if we have to mm -hmm. always yeah <coughs> i want to talk about how you know how on tiktok you got named the replacement oh <laughs> <laughs> lol <laughs> Have you seen those? Oh, yeah. They've been resurfacing a lot recently again. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I've, like, had to, like, delete a couple of them. Oh, why delete? <laughs> Should I reply to one? That would be funny. It doesn't bother you, though, does it? No, it's just hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> What have you noticed about, like, ever since you started working with me, like, how is it seeing, like, people's, like, behavior when they come in the store sometimes? Bro, it's crazy. Like, some people, but I have to think, like, even when I first met you, though, like, I was a mess. Dude, can we talk about that for a second? Oh, yeah. Like, I was a full-on mess. Like, I came in the store, and it was literally, it was me, you, Bria, Jacinda, oh, and yeah. Cody. Mm -hmm. And like it was the first time meeting you all, and I was like full that on. That was on like, opening day, right? It was the day after. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because 
I was working the day, opening day. Right, so you came in the, the second day, which was still, like, was it popping in there? Yeah, it was still popping. And, like, yeah. you literally took, like, 30 to 45 minutes to just talk to me, though. Yeah, but that was because you were, like, like, we clicked. That's what we I said. Did, like, yeah. we did click immediately. Yeah. And, like, I knew that you were, like, if I ever was going to hire somebody, like, I had already met you and, like, you know, even though you were crazy, like, a little crazy. I was. I was literally, like, <laughs> taking so bad, you, like, could barely talk. Yeah, no, I mean, but that was, like, a lot of people at that point. Yeah. That was, it was a crazy time to be alive. Yeah. That opening day, like, I had a mental breakdown that day. Like, it was, like, so many people that came to the store. I was not expecting, like, 50 people, let alone, like, almost, like, 200 and however many ended up showing up. And it was just, like, all around the store. Like, it was crazy. It was, like, a really good time, though. Dude, seeing those TikToks of it, I was, like... It was crazy. It was crazy to me that you were opening a store, like, so close to me. Like, because I was literally just, like, watching a TikToker. Like, it'd be, like, me watching Trisha Paytas type thing. Like, that's how it was. I was literally just watching a, a person. A TikToker, you know? like, do different things with her life. Yeah. And then, like, you but it's But we shop. were so close. Like, you were, like, 30 minutes away. Yeah, the whole time. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, but you've honestly, like become a like a friend yeah yeah i feel like we've been a little uptight on this podcast but like we're actually like we get goofy dude we like, do we have a lot of fun like we always end up like we'll be working like we never really have time to like hang out because you know your girl's a mom <laughs> dude and that's the like like no one ever gives her this but she literally has four kids has no time Everybody, Ever. and that's the thing that, like, bugs me the most is that, like, people think that, like, I'm always hanging out with people and, like, always having, like, fun with friends and stuff because I post, like, a video of, like, us scootering or, like, whatever or, like, us going to the bar. And right. it's like, dude, we went to the bar to, like, drop something off. Literally. We went to the bar to, like, pick up equipment from, like, our previous class and, right. like, and we we're there. And we took 20 minutes for ourselves. Like, yeah. Or, or like, like, when we, like, the one thing we'll do is, like, we'll go shopping for the store and then, like, we'll come be coming back to do something at the shop, and we'll stop for dinner. And that's, yeah. like, us hanging out. Like. And then people are like, oh, my God, Gabby's always going out without her kids. It's like, dude, I literally got dinner with Kevin in between. <laughs> literally. And what no one realizes is during that dinner, oh, should we talk about Olive Garden? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so That we was just Olive a crazy Garden, right? experience. She's trying to, like, we literally went to go, like, catch up on stuff. She was planning on doing a few work things. Which I which I accomplished, like, most of them during that time. And yeah. then I enjoyed a margarita. Mm -hmm. And the crazy <laughs> thing is it's, like, hard to be, like, it's hard to, like, sometimes remember that you do TikTok. Like, when we're in our, like, silly, goofy moments, you know? Like, we'll be doing something like that. And then we'll have, like, five different people approach us. That Just was crazy. There eating. I've never had at a restaurant that type of like experience in my entire life. I don't Dude, think. Dude, it was literally every time we like we would take a bite and then there it would was be, like, like I know I keep doing this. I'm literally like rubbing my chapstick on my cheeks. <laughs> it's like what? I forgot I have cameras everywhere. I'm like <laughs> anxiety like rubbing a chapstick. Anyways, literally. continue on. I'm sorry. But yeah, it was like that was a moment. I was like, dang, like we can't just eat. Like come on. <laughs> But it was literally, like, five different people. They were all really cool, though. They were least. awesome, like, yeah. They were all really nice and stuff. It was just, like, funny because I have never had that happen to me in a restaurant before. Yeah. Like, that was... Sometimes, like, it'll be, like, one person or two people, but, like, five people. And I knew when we walked in. Like, we walked in the door, and, like, you walked up and, like, said your name. And this girl, like... I didn't, I didn't realize it. Sometimes I don't get social cues like that, though. I don't know why. Sometimes I just think that people are, like, awkward and nervous like I am. I think sometimes you don't, like, you can't, like, believe it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't believe all these people, like, know who you are. You're oh, like, yeah. I kind of just, like, like, glitch. And then I start thinking about the TikToks that I post. And I'm like, <sighs> you know? Yeah. But, I mean, it's honestly. It's like I posted that shit. It's like. You, if you, you think about it, though, like, if they're out at, like, Olive Garden or something, like, they're just, like. They're not in, they're in their best moment or whatever, like, or <laughs> At whatever. that moment. Like, yeah. Like, but then they go, they get off and then they like, they're like, oh my God, I saw that girl. And then they go on TikTok and then they start scrolling through my TikToks and then they're like, oh my God. Like, but then also like. I met her. I life. saw her. Like you just pushed your real life. So. Yeah. But sometimes I get like that. Like I was talking to you about the other day in the shop. Like if I look back at videos that I posted like two years ago. 
But I mean. Oh, my God. I'm like, oh, my God. Why did I post that? So embarrassed. So embarrassing. But I guess it's growth. Yeah. I mean, it honestly is. But, like, other people go through it, too. They just don't post about it. <laughs> Bro, you've been. I know. I've been pooping so much, dude. Uh, it's a Celsius, dude. Literally. I've had two today. I'm kind of, like, bouncing off the wall. You know, I haven't um, puffed the devil's lettuce in so long. I'm just going to say this on this episode <laughs> because I feel like I need to. I haven't puffed the puffed the green in a while because I've been like, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I feel like it makes my, uh, I feel like it makes me worse, you know, like more unproductive. So I did it this morning on the way here. Oh, and literally I've been a frazzled mess ever since. This is going to be my most sporadic podcast episode yet, like all over the place. <laughs> I love it though. <laughs> Me too. It's just us. This but is it, how. Yeah, it's literally this how is we a, work. Yeah, this is like us in real life. Yeah, for real. Literally though. <laughs> What's your favorite? Favorite what? Celsius. Yeah. What's your favorite Celsius? Watermelon. Ew! Are you freaking kidding me? Your favorite Celsius is watermelon. Yeah. Be for real. <laughs> no, be for real. You can never find them though. Ask Cody. They're gross. That's why. They should take them off the shelves. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> My favorite's like the guava strawberry. Or no, guava mango. Guava kiwi. Oh, that's it. That's my favorite. I think, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know my flavors very good. <laughs> I don't know anything very good like that. Like, I just know lips. the ones I like. I'm like, I either want a fantasy one or watermelon. The fantasy vibe, I put you onto this. You did. These are good. These that are good, like but they're the played out now. Ever had. They're yeah. played out now. The first Celsius you ever had? Yeah, that was the one. I put you onto Celsius? Yeah. Celsius. If you ever, where do I look? If you ever want to. Feel free. Hit her up. Hit me up. I put him on. I put a lot of people. I put Cody on to dude. Celsius, dude. And we use them every day. Oh, yeah. You guys literally will go to Big Lots and buy as many Celsius as you can to stock the mini fridge at the store. Don't tell people where we get them. Why? Big because Lots? Because they'll run out. They'll restock. You're, we're, we're helping the economy. Okay. Do not go to Latonia Big Lots and buy the Celsius. Mm-mm. Because not a lot of people buy them. Or Kevin will fight you. If For you real. have a problem with it, go to Dicey Guys. I'm just kidding. For real. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Don't say that. People I, know. Like, I was like, I no. Have a with Kevin. Nah, they'll be like, <laughs> no, they won't be for real. That's been something that we've been like scared about. Yeah. We get nervous about. It's scary, like being online. Yeah, it is. And having an online presence, dude. Yeah. Because sometimes, like, people are we like that one time, dude. We've never talked about this ever. Oh, are you talking about? When we were working together late at night. Did I ever talk about that? I don't think so. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. What were you thinking about? I thought you were talking about that one guy. What one guy? You know oh who I'm talking about. Oh, my God. That was kind of scary. That was. I don't know if we should even talk about him. So this guy, like, he's messaged me, like, a lot. Crazy amount of times. Crazy amount of times. He's local. And then he ended up finding out how to actually text my mother-in-law and was, like, saying that, like, it was just crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Kevin's when met him because he's came in. And never got worse vibes from anyone. <laughs> yeah, you're making me nervous even thinking about it. I forgot about him, though. Really? Mm-hmm. He was weird. I think he took it a hint. And then who else? Oh, no. What, what I was thinking about, though, was, um, what was I thinking about? When we were working. Oh, my God. Whenever we were working late at night, that Dude. time. Oh, my God. Whenever, what happened? How do you so, explain that? So, we were literally just working. Like, were we painting that night or were we, no, we were dying. Yeah, we were, we had just gotten everything out of the soda ash from tie-dyeing. Yeah, we were squinch we got squinched and we were like spiraling or yeah. scrunching or something. Yeah. And we were all just of a sudden, about to start. Yeah, like we see these lights pull up and 
It was right behind the G wagon. We thought nothing of it. We thought it was a neighbor because they park there all the time. But we always look out because it's like we have to double check because people are crazy. (laughs) And we see these people like outside, like just standing there looking at the G wagon and stuff. And then like we're standing there and at the die spot, there's like this glass window and we've put like sticker film on them that makes them like a glass window look. And on the bottom left one, yeah, on the bottom left one, there was nothing on there because we had ran out. We didn't have enough room for that one. (laughs) You're making us sound so tacky. (laughs) But we are. (laughs) When we started it, it was. Dude, it still is, bro. I literally had a mental breakdown about it the other day. Like, yeah. We're still so tacky. Like, we've had a lot of growth. We have, though. A lot of growth. It's getting somewhere. Yeah. Could be worse. Could be worse. worse. Much worse. Oh, yeah. But then all of a sudden we see this head peek through the yeah, wall. Yeah, the window. Open. Literally, we see it's like a horror film, dude. Literally, and we're like, <gasps> did we just so hallucinate that? Yeah. <laughs> so I take a box and I throw it up, like, and cover up the window. I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, no. And, and then, then we hear bang, bang, bang. Banging on the door, screaming and everything. Dude. And then, like, we look out, and they're just sitting in their car staring. No, there was a lady when I looked out, and she was there at the window, like, waving. <laughs> like, I swear to God. Uh-uh. No, I swear. It was crazy. And then you were like, go get them. I was, I was like, like, no, dude. Girl. Girl. <laughs> girl. We thought, honestly, though, uh, that, that's so... Mm. Mm-mm-mm. It was crazy. You know, I wonder if. Hey, Peter, can I take a bathroom break really quick? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take a. This Celsius, dude. When we got here, I had to literally run Kevin to the bathroom. These Celsiuses will go right through you. At the pee. <laughs> that was a good uh, intermission. Really good. Really good intermission. Literally, the bathroom here that's downstairs has, like, a stall that's, like, closed off. And then there's, like, a stall right beside it that is, like, not closed off, right? (laughs) Just open. And the label is men and women, like, on the top of it. Literally, (laughs) men slash women. So I literally used the stall. Kevin used the one right beside it. It was a community pee. I'm surprised I was able to go pee. I'm super pee shy. Me too, but I had to go. Me too. I had to go. Yeah, I've had two Celsius. Today. Why do the Celsius make you have to go pee so bad? They're energy drinks. Do they? Or is that like normal? Yeah. I don't feel like monsters ever did that to me. I used to drink Red Bulls. Oh my. They they run right through you. Oh yeah. Bad. Mhm. Mm. Mhm. What's your favorite drink right now? Celsius, honestly. Beverage. Mine's coffee. Or diet coke. Uh, coffee but or I've a diet. But I've been trying to not do much diet. Why? Because it's a dark pop. It's I've a dark pop. Yeah. What is a dark pop? Like they're worse for you. Like so Sprite's better for you than Yeah. So like than Coke? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I drink a lot of Diet Coke. I know, me too. I need to stop. And I don't drink any water. That's what we were talking about before we started this episode, is like Scott, the guy who owns this building, and one of the producers of this, he was like, I carry this around and it's like this huge jug of water. And I was like, I need to do that. But it's like the convenience, like Literally. <laughs> But yeah, literally, like, I need to drink more water, like... I need to stop drinking Diet Coke again. Like, when I drink... Mm. When I stop drinking pop... Oh, my God. Me, too. I, all, I could probably I only, lose 20 more pounds. You don't need to lose 20 more pounds. I do. Okay. I'm not anyone to tell you what you should do with your body. If you, I support you in whatever. I don't want to, like... I don't know. Not lose... Me. I told you I want to lose 10 pounds, and you were like, girl, you're not going to look any different. It's just 10 pounds. It's just 20. I mean, honestly, I probably wouldn't look that different, but hmm. I'd feel better. Maybe. If you do it healthy. We should just do start doing Pilates with Meg. Let's go, Meg. Yeah. Meg sent me the schedule. I have when the schedule. It? I don't know. I can send it to you, though. Can we just do it one day? Oh, yeah. What if we surprise her? Pop out a pl- Ooh, just pop up. Pop in Pilates. Pop in Pilates with Meg. I don't know. Could But could we do Pilates together without, like, laughing? Yeah. You think maybe. you could take it seriously? Yeah. If you're like struggling. I feel like Meg would like. Sn- you're sweating. She'd snap us in. She'd be like, come on, guys. She'd be like. Don't embarrass me. Dude, this is my. Cl- I come here every week, dude. Every fu- 
You three times like, a week. Y'all dude. are going to give us something to talk about next week if you don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we wouldn't be able to go in there and like. We can't embarrass her. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that day that we went to make salon to drop off all the t shirts that we made to her. Dude. And like we got there and then the Korean corn dogs were right that, outside. That was my first time meeting Meg. And oh my god, she's iconic. Yeah, Meg is an icon. <laughs> Literally. She, she, um, she's the episode, not before this, but she's episode 002. If you want to see the podcast two. with Meg, it's episode 002. She's super cool. She is. And we got to try those, the things. The Korean corn dogs. Yes. Oh my god. The same day. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they were parked right outside. It's the red sesame. It's like a little, I haven't eaten there yet. Well, actually, I ate from their food truck one time whenever I was at a hair appointment there. But the Korean corn dogs are from the Red Sesame. I think that that's like their truck. Oh. It's the restaurant. Oh, like okay. that's right in front of where the food truck was parked. It's called Red Sesame. Oh, okay. It's really good. Mm. If you're a local. Really, really good. <laughs> we need to talk about our girl Gypsy. Oh my gosh, dude. Yes, please. <sighs> you start it. Oh my gosh. Have you watched the act yet? No, I want to watch it. I haven't watched it either. I was like, but I don't really have the time right now. I don't either, honestly. Because I've just got a lot going on. But I want to watch like it like through and through. Like I actually want to watch it. I don't want to just listen to it. Yeah. That's if I ever get sick again, I'll just watch that. Yeah. But no, tell me what you've seen about Gypsy Rose. Because I've gone down the rabbit hole. Oh, I've went down. Okay. Like, so where are you at? Where's, where are you stuck at in the rabbit hole about Gypsy Rose? Oh, my gosh. The funniest thing to me... She's just funny. Like, the oh, my God, her comment. She kind of scares me a little bit. Oh, yeah, because she's just like, she's that bitch. Yeah. Like, she's not scared. Mm-mm. But, I mean, props to her, really, though. Like, she got out of that. <laughs> like, I feel so bad for her. Like, her mom literally, like, all of that time of her life. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that, like, if you watch some of the clips that have been, like, I don't know, I feel like... I feel like she shouldn't have killed her, though. She didn't. But you know what the craziest (laughs) part is that literally, like, pisses Cody off about the whole situation is how her boyfriend got um, life in prison. And Gypsy only got eight years. But apparently, like, she convinced the boyfriend to kill the mom. I think there's also, like, I think the movie or the show, like, the act, Mm -hmm. I think people have been saying it, like, betrays it differently, too. But I think she's also coming out with, like, a series. Yeah, she's coming out with, like, a documentary series, I think. So I feel like She has 6 million followers on TikTok now. Oh, I know. Like, since getting out of jail. Yeah. And then her Instagram has gone crazy. Oh, is it poppin'? Dude, it was... The other day, it was at, like, 4 million, and then it was at, like, 6 million. It's probably something crazier now. If you guys don't know who Gypsy Rose is, you're living under a rock. Everybody knows who Gypsy Gypsy Rose Rose is. Um, But just as, like, a little filler... Her mom has, like, the syndrome knee. What is it called? Oh, I don't even know. It's, like, where you, like, want your kids to be sick or, like, you want to take care of people or, like, you want. Yeah, I mean, could you see? imagine that, though? Like, being a regular child, knowing you're a regular what child. What syndrome did Gypsy Rose's mom have? Dude, y'all, she finally got the 15. And ever since she's got it, she turned on the Hey Siri feature. And this girl cannot stop with... She'll walk hey around. Siri, turn on my flashlight. Dude, if anyone has come <laughs> to the store recently, like, ah, bitches. <laughs> she's late to the program. Like, oh my god, no, I'm not. You are. It's just I'm now. And it's just like, let me way, live my truth. You could have done that on your 14. I hope you know. Listen. Can you turn your flashlight off? Oh, sorry, boo. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, boo. Um. Gypsy Rose's mom had uh, Munchinson's, Mauchausen's. How did you pronounce that? How do you say it, Kevin? I I just wanted to hear you say it again. I don't think I'm capable of pronouncing that one. <laughs> Munchinson syndrome by proxy. I don't know how to pronounce this, to be honest. If you guys ask Siri, she'll be able to tell you what it's called. A rare form of abuse in which a Guardian exaggerates or induces illness in a child sympathy. Okay, hold on. I can't read right now, and my attorney is calling me at the same time. Gary. Hold on. Are you answering it? Hello. 
Happy New Year. I have to call you back because I'm recording a podcast episode right now. (laughs) No, it's okay. You're good. I'll talk to you later. (laughs) Bye. Okay. That's funny. (laughs) I know. I was like stroking out. She's your person that you're like, oh, I'm going to answer this one. I got to. Well, I was going to because I thought it could be something like girl. Imagine some drama would have popped off right now. (laughs) I'd have been like girl. Anyways. It's a rare form of abuse in which a guardian exaggerates or induces illness in a child for sympathy and attention. So pretty much like she was making Gypsy like appear to be sick or like be sick, you know, to get all the stuff to get like the house that she got given and like all that stuff. So, yeah, I get that. Like she killed her because like, you know, she was like preventing her from living. Mm -hmm. But don't you think she could have like handled it differently? I feel like she wasn't able to because of how, like, her mom was. I guess. Because she, I, somebody sent me a Facebook thing where she literally on Facebook posted, um, that bitch is dead after he killed her. I mean, <laughs> literally, though, like, I couldn't imagine how much that trauma. Would, yeah. Like, she's going through it, probably. Yeah. I couldn't imagine that. Me Honestly, either. like, imagining, like, having to be in the situation and even be like, that's the easiest option. Like, oh, my God. You know how many ways she probably thought about going out? Mm. Or do you think that she just, I don't know. I just could never kill somebody, I don't think. Or I like, wouldn't be capable Like, of I couldn't conspire, conspire, conspire to, like, kill somebody either, I don't think. Because it's just like... I don't think. No, I couldn't. Because, like, guilty conscience, you know? Literally, I would, like... Like, how... You know what I mean? Like, it's just, like... myself. Oh, my God. I couldn't live with that. Yeah. Knowing that you're, like... Like, that's how I don't get away... Unless it was, like, a situation where I was, like, it had to be done. You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) if it was, like, uh... What? I'm being, like... If I'm, like, being, like... Someone's robbing me or something. Like, oh, you know like, what I mean? Like that type like of Like somebody's trying to harm you. Yeah, like someone's right. trying to harm me. Same. Like, like if somebody's trying to. the only way. Yeah. Somebody's trying to, like. Full on. Yeah. Get me. Mm hmm. Yeah, bite. Bite. Like, I ain't going down like that. I ain't going down like that. And I ain't going to feel bad about it. No. Because you tried me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> um, I feel like. <laughs> me and kevin said we would just be able to roll on this podcast and not have to have a script and now i'm regretting not having a script a little bit why <laughs> okay bring up a topic oh you wanted oh you wanted to talk about your jeep oh my gosh yeah i did get a new bumper put on my jeep finally Mm-hmm. which i think you should keep the jeep and not kevin wants a new car tell us about your dream car um so this month's car i kind of want like a range rover right now mm-hmm. i want a, a white one mm-hmm. tinted red red interior Ooh. yeah it'll come i don't know what my absolute like is that your absolute dream car what's no. your abs okay what's your absolute dream car a g-wagon what kind of g-wagon though like like the the g63 you, know you showed me the other day the lifted one? No, honestly, bunnies but pink. Bunnies but pink. Yeah. So like a uh, AMG. Oh yeah. Like a you know maybe full a little lifted. lift. Yeah. No full lift. Full lift. Yeah. Is bunnies full lifted? I think so. That one that I showed you is fully lifted. I think that's like bunnies. Really? Yeah. Bunnies you think? is lifted. I need to stuff. look hers up. Yeah. Bunnies, G wagon. I know that it's chrome red. It is really pretty. It's iconic. It is. But that is, like, that one, but, like, mm-hmm. pink. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. You would be cute. Yeah, but I don't want it, like, I want, like, a white pink. Like, a super, like, pearl pink almost. Like, very, very light to where it looks white, but it's pink. Have you seen Trisha Paytas's yep. mm-hmm. pink G-Wagon? Yeah. You remember when she first got it? Uh-huh. How yeah. long have you been following her? Like, literally since my, like, first YouTube account. Like, Me too. Like, it's been years. Like, I was probably, like, 12, mm. 10 maybe. Like, something. Like, a while ago. I've been following her since 
I was probably like 10 also. Literally. Like, she was one of the first, like, people I got into, honestly. I used to watch her videos of, like, when she first moved to L.A., like, telling story times about, like, her first apartment, from her talking about, like, being a former dancer, from all like all of her escort stories everything like i've watched Literally. the bag tours not bag tours did she do what's in my purse videos it's okay it's just a little bit of ape. <laughs> oh my but yeah <laughs> i've watched her through everything literally though every single She's stage through it. Mm-hmm. she can't be canceled i love it no she can't she, we were talking about that the other day like well i mean like she could be canceled no she can't She's been canceled. And oh, yeah, that's what I'm back. saying. Like, like she, she, yeah. And same with Tana Mojo. Yeah. Yeah. She, Tana Mojo. Dude, I went to her podcast live. Oh, yeah. You did go to her podcast live. That was so cool, dude. I got to meet Lila. Who did you go with? Um, My friend Bella. Okay. Well, I don't, I, we kind of like fell off. Honestly, we barely talk. But <laughs> was it fun? Miss her. Love her. No hurt feelings. <laughs> yeah, we had a blast. We honestly like partied. Like, Oh my god, it was so cool. It was it was cool to like see them doing it because I've like listened to their podcast a lot. Like her and Brooke are they're so funny together. Yeah, dude, I've I've been starting to watch uh, the Cancel podcast on YouTube recently, and I've like enjoyed it. I'm just getting into like listening like to podcasts more than listening to music. Like I used to just play music all the time. Yeah. But now like whenever I'm like going throughout my day and like I have a minute where I'm like cleaning or something, I'll put on a podcast instead because I just like to hear like Yeah, like in the I background, was, even in the car. I used to be crazy about podcasts. Like when I worked at the office I would um always like listen to some and then I stopped. Why? I don't know. And then I just like I don't know. But I've been going back recently and, like, watching some old ones, too. Yeah. Like, there's some funny ones out there. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite podcast? Definitely, like, Canceled. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. You listen to... I like Trish's podcast, too. Or Bunny's. Oh, yeah. I like Bunny's podcast, too. I Dude. listen to Bunny's podcast. Oh, yeah. They're always good episodes. I think that there's... Since I've been on her podcast and then even, like, a little bit before that... Since then, every episode she puts out, I at least listen to, like, you know, a part of it to see at least, like, who she's interviewing if I've never heard of them before. Yeah, I always watch clippets at least and everything. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go, like, listen through it, some of it, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never can watch, like, a whole podcast, though. I always go back and forth. Like, I'll watch, like, ten minutes and then I go back to it. If I know the person or, like, I know the the topics that are being discussed, usually I can listen all the way – or if I'm interested in the person, I can, like, always listen all the way through. But if it's just, like, hmm, what is this? I just, like, kind of, like, skip, skip, skip. Yeah. I like a lot of true crime podcasts, too. I don't – You don't? No, not really. How? I don't know. You don't like true crime? No, like, I do. Like, I don't know. I'm just not – that's just not what I listen to. I listen to, like, more, like – Funny, like, drama TikTok, like, drama stuff, like, TikTok influencers type of, you know what I mean? Like, all that drama stuff more than of, like, the true stuff. Right. the crime. I like true crime and, like, a lot of that stuff. Like, you know, Bailey Syrian? You don't know who Bailey Syrian is? No, I need to add. I'll be able to look him up. Oh, my gosh, dude. Bailey Syrian, like... Oh, you're not in a true crime at all. I no. can't believe we've never had this conversation. We literally haven't. That's crazy. Hmm. You came off to me as like a true crime person. No. So what do you like? Um, like, what's your genre? Like drama? Yeah, honestly. Hmm. Yeah. I like drama too. Yeah, like when I was young, I had to always be like watching the drama. Like yeah, on the Kardashians. Some... Oh, girl. Paris Hilton. Oh, no? No, I always watch, like, YouTube, usually. No, I never watch TV. Ever? Like, you've never, like, have you kept up, uh, like, have you, like, watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians ever, like, or yeah, just, I've like... Yeah, some of it, like, but never, like, all together. Like, I did watch some TV, but I was never, like, super into TV. Mm. Except for when I was younger. I guess, like, like Netf- watching are you more family, into, like, though. Netflix and stuff like that? Yeah, no. No? Like, I, even since I moved, like... I probably turn my TV on once every two weeks. Same. Yeah. I don't watch TV, like, ever, but no. we have a TV. Because I never, like, I don't have the attention span to sit me there either. and watch TV. And TikTok I have too much to do. for me. Oh, yeah. 
Like now I'm used to like Boop. 15, Boop. Ri- t- Boop. 15 seconds. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they're saying though, that it, TikTok is rotting everyone's brain because it's like so many small intervals of like videos that it like keeps your attention span to stay on the app Mm -hmm. and then people aren't like watching like full-length videos anymore and it like messes with your like brain apparently yeah yeah i don't know how but i saw that but like do you remember how like you used to be so used to like youtube videos yeah and watching the whole thing would be like 10 minutes at least literally 20 minutes how long used to be like the average i was thinking about that the other day i feel like it used to be like 15 10 yeah like 15 to like 25 yeah was like a normal average yeah that's what it used to be like vlog style videos back Mm -hmm. on youtube whenever like before tiktok became a thing yeah yeah i was always watching youtube now that i think of it like filming that much video in a day no to have 30 minute vlog no that's a lot of work that's why i feel like there's more tiktokers now than there were youtubers back then yeah well i mean like i feel like everyone knew every youtuber i feel like yeah it was like a community of people and they all kind of came up together like david dobrik and like you know all the people who were like that we follow at least like it was like you know the start of it yeah the start of it and they all kind of came up together but on tiktok it's like a whole bunch of people just blow up and you don't even know like who half of them are because there's so many people who have blown up on tiktok because there's so many more people like able to showcase their life because they don't have to post like a literally now 10 minute like, long you don't have to post like a 10 to 35 minute long video to do a vlog you can do a one minute vlog literally with tiktok you can find a new person who has like a few million on tiktok that you've never seen every day you can see a new one and it's yeah. like oh wow it's like holy crap who's this person that has 10 million followers like i've never literally, heard of them before never heard of them and then you are like oh wow they do this and this and this and it's like crazy because there's so many people who have came up on tiktok in the past like four like, years if you like ever like take someone else's phone and look at tiktok it's crazy oh yeah like oh my god it's a different world it's a whole different tiktok like and i feel like my for you page has been like off same because it's not the stuff that i'd be liking to watch no at all i've been getting like all voice stuff yeah like i want some music back on tiktok me too yeah no there's no good trending sounds at all there's no good like trending dances TikTok has changed. It, it, it's a new algorithm. It changes every month. Oh, yeah. Like, it changes all the time. It does. Like, whether it's, like, longer videos or short, quick videos, it's like, what is yeah. this, YouTuber Vine? Literally. Literally. <laughs> literally. Like, and it, it's weird. Like, recently, like, it'd be a 10-minute video, and then you're, like, a one-second video. Like, It's like, what? Or I feel like TikTok has had a lot of ads recently, too. Oh, yeah. TikTok like, is turning. I feel like TikTok is getting a little bit ruined sometimes yeah don't you buy like tiktok shop like i've ordered and like promoted some things on tiktok shop but still like every video i see is an ad 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 and it's like you're lucky if every other video doesn't have a tiktok shop link it's crazy like yeah tiktok shop is taken over like it's literally becoming now just a shopping place. Yeah, they're trying to make like t- TikTok like a e-commerce platform. Yeah. To where it's just like a shopping app. Yeah, and it's like. It's supposed to be like for the gonna, hee-hees and the ha-has. It's supposed to be for the giggles. I feel like something's gonna happen, and there's gonna be a new app coming or something. I think that there's been people like trying to like invent new apps. I've seen ads for it on TikTok like come to so and so app. Yeah. Where you can get paid right. And you can get this and this and the third. And yeah. I was like, uh, I'll wait for the TikTok to explode first. Mm-hmm. And then I'll go over. But I, I hope it doesn't. I feel like it might happen like Vine. What happened to Vine? Oh, like turns into something else? No, Vine didn't. Vine just literally shut down. Oh, like, they just like turned it off. Like, yeah. Like you literally, it was one day like, can't do anything. Yeah. You like they just that? like, no, I wasn't like huge into Vine though. Oh, I was, like, super into Vine, like, watched it all the time. Oh. And, like, you literally just, like, went on and, like, they announced it. And then it was, like, you couldn't post videos after this date. Hmm. Yeah. And then you could, like, watch old ones for a little bit, and then it was done. So they literally just, like, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't, I knew that they, like, took Vine away. and I, But I, I thought that Vine turned into Musical.ly, which no, Musical.ly was, turned like, into TikTok. Musical.ly kind of, like, came around right after Vine. Oh, okay. I did post Musical.ly, I think, at one point. Like, just like... Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like, I forget about Musical.ly. Mm-hmm. And it just turned into TikTok. When, remember when it, like, switched over and everyone was like, ew, ew, TikTok. 
Yeah. I didn't even, you know, the craziest part about it, Cody was the one who first downloaded TikTok and he was like, this was like pre-pandemic, like when, back when we were in the army and stuff. And he was like, dude, like this app is funny. There's so many funny videos on here and like da, 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 da. So then I get on TikTok and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually kind of cool. And I start watching them here and there. And then Cody started making TikToks with the kids, like on some burner account, like just like, you know, Remember making me. videos. And then I, through the pandemic, started making videos with the kids. And then that's how I blew up, which is crazy. Literally. I didn't even know about the TikTok app, really, because I had deleted Musical.ly off my phone, like after I had used it oh, or really? initially. Yeah, like I hadn't been using Musical.ly whenever it like transitioned because mm. I was like in basic and like AIT, like during this time. Living of, a whole like, different it, life. Yeah. I just, like, wasn't on my phone and, like, scrolling very much back then, which is crazy to think about because now. You know what? I just randomly thought about this. What? But when we were talking about your Jeep, Mason, so my roommate Mason, the one who, like, fixed it, he said that <laughs> when your Jeep got there, the people were like, what the fuck is this talking about your sticker? And he goes, just go look her up on Google. <laughs> Oh my god he goes look her up on tiktok they were like i don't have that and then he was like look her up on google and they looked her up they, they looked you up right and they all were like what the fuck mason how do you know her <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny Dude. he said they just kept going on and on about like how famous you were and everything that's crazy yeah dude mason is so cool though He's i hilarious. know that um you guys have been friends like since when high school yeah like we started being friends in middle school but we've had our ons and offs but and now we're roommates and mason's really cool yeah he is and he's like a good friend to have like i'm he glad is. that i've met um mason through you and like have like became brosifs with him <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've been through it but we're good friends mm -hmm. yeah yeah now you're roommates it's crazy how's that been like being moved out on your own for the first time it's good honestly now i feel like it's way better now. At first, it was, like, a big adjustment. I was, like, not doing good with it at first. But now it's doing, like, really good. I feel like I'm finally getting to, like, a good headspace. Yeah. Finally. Finally. And it's been, like, refreshing, I feel like, for you to just be able to, like, breathe. Yes, finally. Like, and I've just, been, like, like, chill. Yeah. And like, I've been very relaxed. Anything. You're just, like, you're in your own space. You can have whoever you want over. Do whatever I want. Do I whatever it. you I want. I literally do what I want. Yeah, it's just like, a, it's a fun new feeling. Like, I remember the first time, well, I guess it was different for me because I had a kid, but, like, the first time that I, like, had my own, like, actual space where I could, like, do, decorate and, like, do what I wanted and I was, like, paying for it on my own and, like, I did it by myself, you know? It was, like, a really, like, rewarding feeling and... Literally, though. I love it. Know. I got so lucky. Yeah, you did. And your apartment's so cute. Literally. Like, with the brick... And with the um, shelves, the building And, like, the shelves. window light when it comes... Oh, my gosh. You have the good lighting. brick. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gorge. You got the... Both of the rooms are good, though. I really like Mason's room, too, because he has, like, yeah. a view. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then big windows. Oh, yeah. Good lighting. But I have a fireplace. Yeah, you do. But, yeah, he has a really cute apartment. Mm -hmm. I told him that one day he needs to do an apartment tour. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about it, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> dude my lips have been so chapped recently same how did your morning go this morning oh i woke up and i was like freaking out because i thought i was late <laughs> and i couldn't find my phone for a while <coughs> so it took me like a good few minutes to find my phone and i look at my phone and i'm like oh Oh, it's only 8.30, and I didn't have to get you till 9.30, and so I was like, oh, my God. I know. I said that we could just meet here, though. I know, but it was better that we rode together. And then you were like, let's ride together, so we ended up riding together here, and, but, dude, my morning was a little bit off, because I woke up this morning to get my kids ready for school, and, well, no, Cody got them up and got them ready for school. I was just, like, up because this is the day that McKinley and Elijah go back to their mom. So I like to, like, say goodbye for the day. See you on Wednesday. And um, <laughs> literally. And uh, then after they left, I was looking for my phone everywhere. Oh, no, no. It was nowhere around the house. So I ended up getting on my laptop trying to FaceTime when my phone. When she was describing me, this to me, 
she was walking around. She said, I was walking around my house. Hey, Siri. Like I was saying earlier. Yeah, I was like, hey, Siri. Like, I literally hey, Siri'd my fucking house to death, okay? <laughs> and then I get on my laptop and I FaceTime my fucking phone. And I'm like, where the fuck is this shit? Cody answered it, answers it in a gas station. Hello? Hello? Why the fuck do you have my phone? So, <laughs> poor Cody. He's like, I thought it was mine. So, he left with my phone. And um, I was all pissed off. And then he was like, hope you can deal without it till 9. It was 7.30. Because he had to go drop all the kids off, you know. <clears throat> Sorry. I have a little bit of a coof. Um, but, yeah, it was just like that was my morning. Then he comes back. I rush to get ready. You pick me up. We get here. I'm all frazzled. <laughs> We're good, though. And then it's been chill. Yeah. yeah. We're going to name this podcast episode Conversations. <laughs> <laughs> just talking. Just talking. Just the tip. <laughs> What do you think is, like, your favorite moment we've ever had? Together? Yeah. <laughs> that night that you got wasted at your apartment. <laughs> and you Which were one? fucking... Which one? <gasps> you were so gone. Dude, you literally were standing on the chair oh doing flips was... in the air into a bean bag. That one. <laughs> that was a whole night. That was a whole night. Yeah. <laughs> you were like doing acrobatics. <laughs> we had fun though. We did. We've had a lot of fun together. Yeah. All the classes. Oh yeah. Well, there's only been two, right? Two and a pop up. <laughs> yeah. Those are crazy though. Those are a fun time. Yeah. I do like our classes that we've done at the Hilltop a lot. I want to do more in the spring. Oh, yeah. Me and Brittany have already talked about, like, planning more uh, Hilltop classes in the spring. So that'll oh, yeah, be fun. We have to. Yeah, because people come together. People come from out of state. People come from all over the place. And it's, like, a more, like, longer time span. And everyone, like, gets to know each other. Yeah. And it's, like, good. It's just good bonding. Oh, yeah. Community ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> but anyways um yeah we better end this soon so that we can uh go get ready for this class on sunday oh god we gotta get stuff done we do we have a lot and of stuff we need to we get need a to light get bulb hmm? we need to get a light bulb oh yeah dude and singles for the shop yeah yeah is it open? What? The shop. Yeah. Okay. Cody opened the store today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching the fourth episode of Dicey Digest. I'm sorry that this podcast was all over the place. And <laughs> we will talk to you guys next time.